Which way do you want to go? Well, not looking like a nice direction. Right. Hey, your knitting's sticking out. <laughs> brought her knitting. Maybe she's going to knit a tent. <laughs> okay, they're out of sight. Come on, troops. Move out. How does this troops move out? Uh, he's been that way ever since he saw Pat. Oh, oh. Word, ho! <laughs> Boy, do they look funny in those hats. Yeah, you can sure spot a tenderfoot. No talking in the ranks. <laughs> How far do you want to go? We can keep walking till we get tired, and then we can set up camp. I... Did you hear something? No. What did it sound like? It must have been a bird squawking. I haven't heard a noise like that since Tracy bit Reuben on the toe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I haven't felt pain like this since Tracy bit me on the toe. We have to keep going. Keith will have to carry Mr. Kincaid's stuff. <sighs> Why can't we just take a rest? My arm must be six inches longer than it was two hours ago. Not complaining. Now you can put your socks on without bending over. Why can't we walk on the path like the girls? Why do we have to burrow through this underbrush like a pack of gophers? If we go on the path, they might look back and see us. Oh, uh, I, I want to stay here and rest. I can't go another step. Oh, no. There they go. We can't stop now. We'll lose them. Why? They're jogging. <laughs> Ten, hut, double time, ho! Left, ah, left, oh, left, right, left, ah! <laughs> if this tent isn't tied right, it can fall on us in the middle of the night. I don't know how to tie a good solid knot. Sure you do. Make knots all the time in knitting. Make a pearl, pull the end through, and then pull it down tight. Pearl. I think it'll work. I just wish Keith and Danny were here to see that. I don't believe it. They are knitting a tent. The first good wind, they're gonna drop a stitch. <laughs> Boy, that food smells good. I haven't eaten since last night. What do you say? Let's eat. Okay. Great idea. Uh, okay. Well, let's break out the food. Fine. Okay. <laughs> well. Key? Well, I thought you brought the food. <laughs> Why would I bring the food? You're the one that eats all the time. No food. Okay, so uh, we forgot to bring the food. We can always go out and get some berries and stuff in the morning. Right. We'll just have to rough it tonight. No problem. It's usually the victims who have to rough it, not the rescuers. Well, we might as well set up camp. Yeah, it's getting chilly out here. Fine. Let's break out the bedrolls. <laughs> Who's got the bedrolls? Mom and Lori. <laughs> of course they've got the bedrolls. Uh, let's break out the blankets. I'll settle for blankets. So will I. <laughs> Must have brought something. Same thing I pack every time we go on tour. Socks, handkerchiefs, shorts. Well, Mom always packs everything else. A rubber duck? It is not a duck. It's a mouse. You're no General Patton. Well, what did you bring? Well, uh, I brought uh, socks and uh, handkerchiefs and shorts. And a guitar. Why did you bring a guitar? I don't know. Force of habit, I guess. Mom always packs everything else. Wonderful. What did you bring besides your camera? Well, uh, a couple of suits. Socks, handkerchiefs, shorts. Toothbrush, an electric razor, and an electric hair dryer. Well, one luxury. Look, let's just go to sleep, okay? Okay, fine with me. Oh. 
sure is cold. I wish I had my jacket. Yeah, God, how cold it gets up here in the mountains at night. Hey, maybe it helps if we put on all our shorts. Okay. <laughs> Where are my suits? Who wants the $200 mohair? Don't worry, Reuben. We'll, we'll pay to have them cleaned. This will be warm enough to get some sleep tonight. There's only one problem. I can't sleep. Why? I'm starving to death. <laughs> It's a great meal, Mom, but I ate too much. Oh, me too. Oh, boy, I'm tired. It's a good kind of tired. I know. It's so peaceful and relaxing out here. It certainly makes you forget all your problems. Yeah. Oh, it's been a great day, Mom. Good night. Good night, honey. <laughs> We can't just come in here and steal their food. Stealing is wrong. Would you rather wake them up and ask them for it? Let's steal it. <laughs> Jackpot beans. You call that a jack? Take anything. Did you hear something? It sounds like a mallard. Yeah, a rubber mallard. I don't think they're flying this time of year. You the beans? God. But before we get our hopes up, who has can opener? It's one thing a bachelor is never without. Great. Well, let's build a fire. Give me a match. No matches? I don't care. I'll eat them cold. So will I. Give me the can opener. Mr. Kincaid, you said a bachelor is never without a can opener. That is perfectly true. How far is the car from here? <laughs> oh, might as well try to get to sleep. <sighs> I can tell by the silence you hate me. One little mistake. We starve for one night. <laughs> Ruben, if it would make you feel any better, I'd nag you. But I'm too tired. Mr. Kincaid, it's not your fault. We forgot things, too. So, I forget one can opener, and it's the old polite routine. Well, if that's the way you feel about it, good night. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Nobody, you all right? Mr. Kincaid! I suppose you forgot to bring a rope, too. <laughs> Mr. McCade, wake up. Roast duck. Potatoes au gratin. Come on, you can wake up. Mom and Lori are gone. Just a few more minutes. I haven't ordered dessert yet. Okay.
<laughs> if nature's so perfect, why doesn't it make a can opener? Why? Why? Okay. Get a hold of yourself. <laughs> we must be near a can opener. I found a pair of shorts. <laughs> Those are mine. We've been walking in circles. I'm afraid he's right. This is where Mom and Lori camped. The only one thing left we can do. Yell for a can opener. And what if someone heard us? It's embarrassing. What if they don't hear us? I knew we'd be embarrassed, but I didn't think it'd be so fast. What are you doing here? How'd you find us? We found a trail of clothes with Danny's name stenciled on. <laughs> were you following us? No, no, no. We were just out on a little Sunday hike. And we... Well, we got a little misplaced. Ed. Just take us back to the bus, please. You were following us. All I know is they said they were taking me to a drive-in movie. <laughs> Uh, please, we, we've come to rescue you. Do you have any food, water? Just show us how to get out of here. I don't know if we should. Oh, please, you have to. Okay, let's go. Uh, wait, wait, aren't you taking us back to the bus? Yes. Well, it's not that way, it's that way. No, no, I'm, I'm sure it's that way. It can't be that way, it has to be over there. Hi, girls. Hi. Do you know those girls? Where'd they come from? We had breakfast with them this morning. Yeah. There's a girls' ranger's lodge about 50 yards from here. You've got to be kidding. What's wrong with those guys, Mrs. Partridge? They lost or something? We are not lost. We uh, were sent here on a survival test by the Pentagon. We know exactly where we are and exactly what we're doing. Oh, did the Pentagon tell you to stand in Poison Oak? <laughs> Pentagon, huh? <laughs> we had a lot of fun on Grandma and Grandpa's farm. We went swimming in the goldfish pond. The live fish! Looks like you had fun, too. Get out of here, kid, before I pierce your ears. <laughs> Well, how do you guys feel? I've got a cold. I think I've got a frostbite. I'd have to get better to die. What's that? What do you think it is? Dinner. We're gonna nurse you guys back to health. Well, it's the least we can do since you risked your lives to save us. They're making fun of us. We try to do a good deed and they humiliate us in return. Are we gonna take that? Of course, we're going to take that. <laughs> Boy, I'm stopped. Beans. I found your can opener. <laughs> 